Welcome to Shalom and Friends for Storytime. My name is Pastrix and this is my friend, Indy. And this is Indy's bestest lamb friend, Stu. One of our favorite things to do together is to read books. After the story, we play a game to see how many Jesus sightings we can find. This helps us practice seeing Jesus in our everyday places. So grab a blanket and your favorite stuffed animal because it's story time. Hello friends. Are you getting ready to go back to school? Maybe some of you have already gone back to school. Indy and Stu and I have been talking about maybe it'll be time for them to go to school soon. And so in order to get them ready and to tell them a little bit about what school's like, we're reading Skippy John Jones Class Action by Judy Shoshner. I think I'm getting closer, Miss Judy. Are you ready to see what kind of adventures Skippy John Jones has at school? I am super excited. Skippy John Jones was just dying to go to school. I bet a lot of you are ready to go back to school too. And nobody, not even his mama, was going to stop him. But she did, by the scruff of his necks. School is for dogs, stated Mama June Bugs Jones emphatically. They're unruly and drooly, she added dramatically. Just listen to that barking. Those hounds sound ferocious. <clears throat> <clears throat> Plus, a bus full of dog breath? That would smell so atrocious. Good golly, Pop Lolly. It's such a no-brainer. If there is a good dog, it's because of its trainer. His mama gently nudged her nugget into his room. Then she added, you're Skippy John Jones, a smart Siamese cat. Take a look in the mirror if you don't believe that. He looks in the mirror every day, said his sisters, Jezebel, Jilly Boo, and Juju Bee. But all he sees are chihuahuas. Arf, arf, barked Juju Bee. <laughs> I don't think his sisters are helping him very much this time. <clears throat> After his family left him to think, the chihuahua did exactly what his mama suggested, but not before he bounced around his room with some books. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones, and I don't get the fuss. It's not like a pigeon is driving the bus. Then he climbed up his, sitters, his sister's kitty condo ladder for a peekaboo in the mirror. I would be concerned if there was a pigeon driving my kids to school, too. <clears throat> Holy Julio squeal, squealed the kitty boy. How many chihuahuas am I? He wondered out loud. Then he took a deep breath and using his very best Spanish accent, he answered, as many as you can handle, hombre. And quicker than you can say, the cat in the hat never did that. The kitty boy tossed his mask and his cape and a bright yellow bandana into his mochila. Then as he buttoned up his red plaid shirt, he began to sing in a muy, muy soft voice. Oh, my name is Capito Fresquito, and I'm off to the school for peritos, because I've had a good hunch that I'm going to have lunch with a grand old bunch of puchitos. There we go. Look at all those little 
dogs. Look at all those perritos in the mirror. No wonder he didn't know how many, how many dogs he was. Just across the hall, Mama Junebug Jones and the girls were doing a little homework of their own. Listen here, Messy Missy, said Mama. How are you supposed to clean your kitty condo without your ladder? Skippy John has it, said the sisters. What for? asked Mama. So he can see the chihuahua in the mirror. The chihuahua, however, was already in his closet boarding a bus for school. I, this really is a magic closet. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. Me too. Oh, but the kitty boy wasn't the only chihuahua on board. His old amigos, Los Chimichangos, were going to school too. Thank dog you made it, dude, exclaimed Don Diego, the biggest of the small ones. Si, Scapito, panted Poquito Tito, the smallest of the small ones. We need your help con el bolito. With it out a doubtito, declared Scapito. But why do you need my help with the bully? Because he's a Pedro Mesquino, declared Don Diego, who barrenos around the escuela in a tazalita. He spins around the school in a tiny teacup, exclaimed the kitty boy in shock. Well, that just doesn't really sound right, does it, Indy? See, dude, added Don Diego. He growls and howls and wears a suerte de la tambien. Not the wool sweater, said Scapito. Uh-huh, agreed Poquito Tito, trembling. He is a woolly bully. There wasn't a dog worth of biscuits who didn't fear the woolly bully, so it wasn't a surprise when a potent puff of panic poofed out the gatito's tail. <laughs> I think that that's just a funny way of saying that he had gas. <laughs> and all that puffiness inspired the Puchitos to sing. Oh my gosh, what do you think the song is this time? Let's find out. Oh, Puffy Puffu Puchito. We know you can do it, Scapito. Let's unravel his sweater and knit something better. We'll show that old woolly bolito. But there was no turning back now. The doggies had arrived at school. Well, silly me, I thought the song was going to be about his little poot. Okay. A moment later, the principal, a poodle with very high standards, appeared with a bucket of balls and a whistle. First, she blew, and then she threw. Go fetch, barked Miss Begalot. Then every dog, big and small, chased a ball down the hall and into their classrooms. Except for Scapito. He got carried along by the river of rovers and... Oh, what happens next? If I can turn the page. There we go. Landed in art class where he drew his best ever double doggy doodle. I have never seen a pup do that before, said Mrs. Houndler, the art teacher. Then he trotted over to the music room and bayed like a beagle for the canine chorus. Bow wow, woofed Mr. Muzzletuff. What a pair of ears. I like that, Skippy John Jones is good at art and good at singing. After music came math, where Skippy stunned Mrs. McDrooler with his counting skills. Two, three, five, seven, eleven. 
Hmm, that doesn't sound right to me. At the bell, the amigos followed their nose into the library. Not even a bowl full of frijoles smelled as delicious as the scent of books waiting to be read. I lick libros, declared El Skipito Fresquito, the great readerito. I like books too, whispered Lenora Lapsitter, the librarian from behind the bookcase. Between you and I, I don't recommend licking books. I don't think they taste very good. The kitty boy was the last to leave the library, so he had to race right over to French class with Monsieur Fouze. Can you say cheese? asked the teacher. Oui, oui, says the boodles. Fromage. Si, si, said Scapito. Queso. Queso cabeza, shouted the chimichangos from the rear of the room. I'm not a cheesehead, chimichangos, chuckled the gaitito. I'm a chihuahua. The poodles were tickled pink to have Los Puchitos in class with them, and Los Puchitos wanted to share what they had learned with their amigo. So let's sing together. Zo zi pupi zang. Como si, como ca, como sito. We have zooming to tell you, Scapito. When the poodles say we, they really mean si. So you don't look for a red hydrantito. <laughs> I like the poodles too. After French, Los Muchachos took a pass took a pass on obedience class, deciding instead to nap inside a warm case with the golden trofeos. I'm not good at following rules, confessed the kitty boy. What dog is, dude? quipped Don Diego. But just then the gatito heard a gut-gurgling growl that shook the entire escuela, perhaps the entire planeta. Holy heartburn, hollered Scapito. Was that my tummy? No, that is the bellow of the woolly bolito, said Poquito Tito with a shiverito. The gruesome grumble grew louder and louder, and along with it came the rattle and plink of the terrible Tazalita. It was spinning wildly right under his nose, circling like a polka-dotted shark. Andale, declared Don Diego. Get out of your duds, dude. But Scapito was too frozen with fear to unpack his mochila so his amigos did it for him, helping to change their chico into El Scapito Fresquito, complete with mask, cape, and banana. Why the plantano, dude? asked Pinto Lito. It's my snackito, replied the gatito. Will you share it with me and Tito? Yes, indeed, agreed Scapito. Hmm. I don't know. That thing with the banana took a turn for me. Do you think it's important later? Hmm. I guess we'll find out, huh? Then woof, chuck a luck a luck a woof, chuck a luck a luck a. Every doggy leaped out of the case and latched onto the turbocharged Taza. This caused the cup to spin wildly out of control, some of the chicos just hanging on by a tail. Estoy mareado, cried Scapito. You're not dizzy, dude. You're green, yiped the doggies. The whirling dervish of a dog-filled teacup cut a mean path of destruction past the principal's office and spread and spun straight, straight into the lunch bunch like a bowling ball. Strikeito! shouted the Puquitos. 
Look at that. I would be dizzy. I would be dizzy and green, I think. And strike it did. Smash, crackle, pop. The twirling Tazalita crashed right into a table and broke apart, exposing the ferocious fuzzy for what he really was. A teeny tiny itsy bitsy wool wearing teacup chihuahua. Dude, declared Skipito. You're no bigger than a bugito. But the bugito's only reply was a gut gurgling growl greater than the hounds had ever heard before. Is that your tummy? asked Skipito. Si, sí, replied the bolito. Tengo mucho hambre. I'm hungry too, agreed the gatito. But you can have my plantano. This act of kindness made the chimichangos pull up their jump rope right in the middle of the mess. Peanut butter and belly buttons, chunky cherry pits, the woolly bully's taza has broken into bits. Wiggle waggle wiggle waggle, jelly on the toast. He's not a woolly bully, he's just hungrier than most. Just then, Mrs. Begalot stepped into the lunchroom. I smell a cat, she bellowed. That cat better scat. Mmm. She sounds serious. She even has a whistle. Oh, then out came the whistle. First she blew. And then she threw a bright yellow ball down the hall, which every dog, big and small, began to chase, ex except Skipito. He wasn't chasing the ball, he was running for his life. First Skippy tripped and then he slipped on the banana peel and slid straight out of his closet. And back into the arms of his mama, June, Mama Junebug Jones. What in the woolly white willies have you been up to, Mr. Whistle Whiskers? asked Mama. He broke my teacup, whined Jilly Boo, and he ate my banana, complained Jezebel. That's because he went to school with the Chihuahuas, explained Juju B. Later that night, after, after every fuzzy fell asleep, the kitty boy was good for one last bounce. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones, and I couldn't say it better. A dog is not a bully, just because he wears a sweater. Then he bounced over to his mama and gave her a beso. A kiss she felt straight through the layers of her quilts. Good night, little dipper, said the very sleepy mama. Good night, mama, said the very sleepy kitten. The end. Skippy John Jones had a very big and exciting day at school today, didn't he? Well, we hope. We hope that you have an exciting first day of school, too. And hopefully, Indy and Stu here learned some great tips from the book that they can share with you now. Hi, friends. Stu and I were so happy to see you today at Storytime, where we heard the story, Skippy John Jones and the Class Action. Last week, we talked about how Skippy John Jones identified as a Mexican Chihuahua and not a Siamese cat. And his preferred name is Scapito. So that is what we will call him. And this week's folks, Scapito really wanted to go to school. Are you excited about going to school? Sc 
Capito sure was. And when he got there, he met French poodles, beagles, French bulldogs, and all kinds of other dogs. He had lots of adventures and made a lot of new friends. It didn't matter that they didn't look alike. Each one was accepted just the way they are. This reminds me of something that Jesus said, love your neighbor as yourself, which is kind of like do unto others as you would have them do unto you. We call that the golden rule. So as you go back to school, remember to be kind help make new students feel comfortable and treat everyone the way you want to be treated. I know it's going to be hard sometimes, but Stu and I have faith in you. Have a great school year. Will you pray with me? Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise God, all creatures here below. Praise God above, our heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Stu and I had a lot of fun with Pastrix Carmen today. And don't forget to check out our new episodes Monday at 5. If you like story time or you like Shalom and Friends, please like, comment, and share our videos with your friends. See you later, alligator! alligator.